Hey you guys, 20.2 workout analysis for you and as you can see we're pretty detailed here and we'd like to thank our special guests for finally being quiet and allowing us to do this in one take. Number one is don't go to failure, which brings me nicely into my second point, don't go to failure, which brings me into my third point, stay away from failure. So, if 22.5 kilo dumbbells are heavy for you for thrusters, if six toes to bar repeatedly are difficult for you, or if you hold your breath for 24 double unders or trip up a lot, do not go to failure because you'll blow up and then you'll spend a massive amount of time resting. And this workout is all about how little time you can spend resting. So having done it, I alternated between resting before the dumbbell thrusters and before the toaster bar. I personally found toaster bar the hardest because I'm stupid and crashed a bike into a wall. Thanks, Danny. For warming up for this, it's gonna be a long workout. So you wanna keep that steady, steady pace right throughout it. You wanna keep your gear nice and close together, all right? And you wanna stay breathing through it. If six toaster bar for you are a lot, go trees from the outset. If you can comfortably do six with a break, take your break beforehand. Always pick up the rope and breathe. If you trip up, which is inevitable over a 20 minute workout, just take a breath and go again. Get someone else to count your reps. Other than that, guys, this is very much a mental workout. There's plenty of time for you to go, those dumbbells look nice on the floor, I'll leave them there. I don't feel like jumping up and I don't feel like picking up that rope. And that's where you're gonna make up your time by saying, no, I can do a rep and going for it. So guys, we just witnessed that Sam bust out a pretty damn consistent performance. His slowest round was when he took his t-shirt off. You're welcome, ladies. <laughs> uh, he burped once and put chalk on the bar once, but other than that, it was pretty good. Sam, how did that feel? Uh, it's all right. It's, it's one of those workouts where you just need laser focus for 20 minutes, which is the hardest part. Yeah, laser focus. Um, it's very easy to go. Oh, I didn't look. I don't think I looked at the clock. Maybe three times for for twenty minutes. I was just focusing on okay, breathe on the double unders. Okay, breathe on the thrusters. Breathe out on the uh, at the bottom of the toast bar because when you're up, obviously your diaphragm's crushed. It's harder to breathe out. So I'd be like, as I go into the arch, and that kind of saved me. Um, yeah, just focus on your breathing. Now, if you're if you know those reps are doable the entire time going broken if for most people think of me that the toast of bar as a uh, like as a skill thing if you're working on a skill break it up don't be a hero round one pitching round one is very quick and it can affect round two to the rest of the and the rest of the 19 minutes <laughs> and Sam, you said something about there's a difference between feeling like you're gonna sick and getting sick oh yeah I felt like I was gonna like I felt awful it's a workout you're meant to, right? It felt pretty awful, but I kind of said, okay, it's only like you're feeling like this, it's your body telling you to stop. You don't need to stop. You could actually, it's not gonna get worse. The only time it'll get worse is if you actually get sick, which probably means your diet's not good and other, other things like. Um, so that's just a yeah, feeling, it's not an action. That comes back to your focus. You just gotta be like, okay, four toaster, six toaster, four, double unders. And you just go, your next focus is the next movement or the one you're on. Don't think about, oh, we have 10 minutes left. It's that ten, it kind of flies by a little bit. Well, good work, dude. Oh, thank you. Go crush it, guys.